morning otters and today is Friday the 5th of February. I hope you've had a lovely week. Only one more week to go to the half term so well done for keeping up the good work for this long. I'm sure you're probably all as tired as me but keep going and we're nearly there okay. Today's plan we're going to start off with a bit of guided reading okay and the text today is Oliver and the Sea Wigs. Um, we accidentally did it on Wednesday because I just made a bit of a mistake in class so I can tell you for a fact the children really enjoyed reading the text so I hope you enjoy it too. Um, after that you're going to carry on practicing your spellings okay so in whichever way you found the most useful just have a think of did yes yesterday did I get the score that I wanted in spellings and if the answer is no try and have a think about what you could change to what you normally do that might help you. So maybe it's if you only practice twice a week, could you practice more often? Or is it maybe the way that you're practicing your spellings might not be the most efficient method for you? So maybe you can mix it up a bit this week and try something different when you're practicing your spellings. After that, you're going to be moving on to English. So we're carrying on with our poems. Yesterday, you planned your poem and today we're going to be writing one. It's only five lines. They're really quite short. Just make sure you follow the structure that Mrs. Martin has given you and you can't go wrong really. The challenge with these poems is to use some really aspirational vocabulary because I know you can think of two adjectives to describe winter but can you choose the two best adjectives to describe winter? That's what I'm going to be looking for and I will be asking a couple of children to maybe bring them to our Zoom lesson, um, our Zoom meeting next week or I might be able to read some out during our welcome videos on Monday. Okay so that's what I'm looking for, that aspirational vocabulary. After English, you're going to have a break before moving on to maths, okay? The multiplication and division from now on till half term is less about your times tables, okay, and more about multiplying and dividing larger numbers, so one and two digit numbers, maybe up to three digits, okay? The whole reason we've done it this way around is now you've practiced your times tables, you've got them there to help you for when we're doing um, this multiplication unit, okay? So use those times tables to help work out the answers. If in maths you're not sure of the times tables, maybe it's got your, a question with your eights, feel free to maybe get a multiplication grid up on the, at the internet or you could write out your times tables, okay? That's not cheating in these lessons because you're practicing the method. I'm not testing your times tables anymore. I want to see can you use the method that we've used in our lessons to answer those questions. After maths you're going to carry on reading and then um, reading your own book this time. Make sure you're quizzing on Accelerated Reader, which I think most of you are, so well done if you have been, fantastic work. I've been trying to get the children to quiz at least three times a week, so that's normally a good challenge, depending on how big your book is. You're gonna have some lunch and then have a go at TT Rockstars. Again, that TT Rockstars, those times tables will help you with your maths, okay? That's why I keep asking you to do it. And then this afternoon you have a choice between PSHE and art, okay? So art is just carrying on with the Quentin Blake task cards, okay? Um, you probably only have one or two left now, so you're sort of limited with choice, okay? I just want to do a couple of quick shout-outs, really, because I've been very, very impressed by some children's hard work this week. Well done to Bella and Mackenzie. You've been working so hard in English all week. I'm very, very impressed with you. Thank you so much. Okay, and I also want to say a big well done to Alex. You're persevering really well. Mum's been telling me how hard you've been working in maths, okay? We just want to make sure we're seeing that in English as well. Everybody else, have a lovely weekend, okay? And I'll see who I can give a shout-out to on Monday. Bye.